rub your hand up and then down. It's gonna feel like a little ball. I can feel it. And then right on this side here, you feel that? Yeah. That's a swelling inside of her abdomen. That should not be there. Whenever I feel a swelling in the abdomen and I have a dog that's lethargic and white gums, I get real concerned with certain disease processes. Okay. And one of those are what we call a splenic mass, the spleen, it's an organ in the body. There's a mass that's developing off of there. I mean, we see these often. What I'm thinking that we should do for Bella is x-rays. I think it's really important that we get that done now to see what we're dealing with, and then we kind of go from there. Okay. Okay. That sounds okay? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Bella, you want to come with me, sweetheart? Take your time. Take your time. Good girl. Come on. Come on. Outside. Good girl. She's such a sweet girl. Come on. So this is an x-ray of her abdomen. This large swelling is all a mass that should not be there. The only thing that normally lives in this area are intestines. This thing is obliterating the entire space. So it's pushing everything out of the way. I believe that this is her spleen, okay, that's developed either a cancer mm -hmm. or a, just a swelling. But this mass can sequester blood. Basically, when blood flows through it, it doesn't get back out. At any point, this could rupture and we can get fluid in the abdomen. That would make it an emergency situation. I truly think that we need to go in surgically and remove this mass in order for her to live. If this mass is connected to something else and it's inoperable, that's a problem. Also, if she is so anemic or not stable during the surgery, it could compromise the oxygenation of her tissues, including her brain, which could lead to death. We're kind of damned if we do, and we damned if we don't. Without surgery, this is gonna be the demise of her. What do you think? You gotta do it. Yeah, I don't have a choice. Unfortunately, she's not really giving us a choice. So here's what I wanna do. Get some blood work on her so I can see where her blood levels are. It'll let me know a little bit more about what we're dealing with and how stable we need to be before we go into surgery. Once she's good and stable, we'll move forward with the surgery. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and run her back if you wanna say, see you later. Bella. Bella. All right. I'll see you later. Hopefully better. Bye, baby. So I'll see you later, mom, dad. Bye. Come on, baby. Come on, come on, come on, let's go. Good girl. I think it was gonna be that, did you? Nope. Not at all. But she's strong, so I think she'll pull through. I hope. This is Curly. Hey, it's Dr. Blue, calling from Cypher Animal Hospital. Hi, how are you? Good. I wanted to let you know that uh, Bella did pull through surgery. Okay. The mass was pretty large. I truly feel as if this is a cancerous mass. Okay. There were also several masses that were spread about the abdomen. We're not out of the woods yet. I understand. There's always the possibility we can develop bleeding problems. Do you think that she has any probability of, sur of surviving? The next 24 hours are gonna be touch and go. I will do everything in my power to keep you updated throughout the day. Okay, that would be great. All right, I'll talk with you later, okay? Thank you. Bye. Give me a post socks. Hey, Dr. Galeen, what's, uh, what's going on? Um, this is Belly. She just crashed, so she's not breathing. She's trying to fight. Come on, Belly, you can do it. Let's turn the ISO on so she doesn't wake up during the transition. And I'll get scrubbed up and ready to go. All right, let's go. Flush the epi. She gone, bro. I'll call Blue and let him know. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sorry, baby. 
baby girl. I'm sorry, pretty girl. I'm sorry. Being a veterinarian is the most rewarding job on earth. But sometimes, no matter what you do, our patient's spirit moves on. These are the hardest days and the most difficult calls we have to make. Hello. Hey, Carlene, it's Dr. Blue again. Hi. Hey, I'm afraid I have some bad news for you. Um, unfortunately, um, Bella did not make it through. OK. <laughs> The mass removal was just too much for her body to handle. This morning, she stopped breathing. We did everything we could, but her body just wasn't strong enough. OK. You know, if if you like, come down and view her body or see her uh, before we move on. I'd rather remember her the way she was. I, I definitely understand that. I, I know this is a really tough time for you, and, and if there's anything we can do for you, Please let me know. Okay. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. Bye. Bye-bye. Boy. God bless you, Bella. Hey guys. Hello. Hey. How you all doing today? Pretty good, pretty good. Okay. A few days ago, we lost Bella shortly after surgery. Her owners are here to take her home one final time. I just really wanted you all to know that you all gave Bella the fighting chance that she deserved. Right. I know that Bella's looking down and she's happy. Thank you. You're very, very We appreciate welcome. everything that you tried to do. Yes, ma'am. In your work. I did want to present you all with Bella's ashes. This is absolutely beautiful. But I, I like this because she was my rock. <laughs> oh, yeah. But it's good to know that she's not in any more pain. No, you know? no, no, no. And she's resting. It's actually Bella's paw print stabbed in clay. Oh, my gosh. That's gorgeous. I love that. Well, I really appreciate you and everything that you've done. Absolutely. I'll give you guys some time to reflect okay. on it. There's no Thank rush. You. When you're all ready to go, you would just let the ladies know up front. Okay. All right. Thank you all so right. much. You're very welcome. You all have a blessed day. Thank you so much. All right, take care.